hello everyone in this uh, tutorial video we are going to study about various methods which are being adopted for the construction of the boring of the tubules so there are basically three methods that we are going to use first is the driven other is the jetted and last one is the drilled method by these following methods we can bore down the tubules so let's see the first uh, that is the driven type of tubules so in this type of the tubules we actually have a um, pointed end at the bottom end of the uh, drilling mechanism which uh, penetrate down to the various uh, bearing formations and uh, these uh, is being uh, pushed down to the various formation by using certain drop hammer or the suitable means and by this way we can just penetrate to the various uh, bearing stratified formation so if the water level is uh, 7 meter or more um, below the ground surface then the pipe will that should be more than 5 cm in time for the safety purpose so that the jet or cylinder may be inserted and submerged to permit that pump to uh, function properly in this case we also use certain caps or dry weight which uh, prevent the uh, periphery of the top head of the bore because if you are just uh, hammering down then that may lead to it, the damage of the top portion of the bore the second method adopted is the jetted tubules in these methods uh, we actually use to provide a jet of a stream of the water at the which comes out from the bottom through the nozzles and this uh, are the high velocity nozzles or jets of water which uh, penetrates and uh, to the various layers uh, below the um, geological formation so this method is also very commonly adopted and when you do so then the water when comes out it takes out all the uh, cut it cut it down uh, rocks fragments from the bottom part of the boreholes then the last one is the drill tubules in this uh, such type of methodology is adopted for deep and high capacity wells uh, for the construction of drilling and we use the uh, drilling methodologies in order to drill down to the various stratified formation and then we take out the water so that is the drilled type of the tubules so apart from all of these there are certain lifespan of such type of tubules and certain reasons of its failure okay so because they are consist consisted to have a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years in the northern India and such type of tubules fails due to these two uh, following reasons first is the incrustation other is the corrosion process in the case of the incrustation process what happens there is the deposition of the alkali salt on the inside wall of the pipe so some of the important salt which is causing the incrustation is this calcium carbonate which is the uh, main uh, component for this uh, incrustation although this calcium and magnesium sulfate are also responsible but calcium carbonate is the uh, main uh, responsible for this incrustation of this uh, such type of tubule so if that happens then there is obviously reduction in the discharge of through these uh, tubules and uh, this incrustation can be reduced if we follow some of this methodology like if we reduce the drawdown and the pumping rate and that will certainly reduce this incrustation if you use certain screens having larger area of openings uh, or by using the materials like strainers and screens and that would also permit the um, entry of this uh, type of um, fine particles inside of the uh, tube wells and uh, by properly maintaining and periodically cleaning of the well screen also that will uh, uh, permit uh, lesser quantity of such minerals to enter into the tube wells so one and last again the next uh, means is the corrosion process this is uh, since the whatever the well pipe that we are using are prone to the corrosion because they have been exposed to the certain acidic water and when that comes in contact with these metallic pipes then corrosion is a common process and here the chlorides and sulfates or carbon dioxides are present in the water obviously and the well pipes will definitely will get corroded so we can process obtain we can just follow certain methodologies like we can use the galvanized uh, um, tube wells uh, which is coated with zinc uh, as a pipe material when we are using in the 
for the purpose of the tube fill so other methods are can also be used to just reduce this type of corrosion which includes if you reduce the drawdown and pumping rate if you use the uh, thicker pipe or by if you use the corrosion resistant material for the pipes or uh, if you provide proper coating like gene coating over the pipes then all such methods can be useful in order to prevent such type of uh, degradation of the pipe okay so we will conclude the, these uh, two topics over here and uh, we will uh, see in the next topic a different topic thank you